everybody, Liz Levine with Signature College Counseling. So today we're gonna to talk about what to do when you're deferred from a college. First of all, what does deferral mean? Deferral means that if you applied early, whether it was early action or early decision, they're not going to accept you during that early action or early decision pool. They're going to defer you to their regular decision pool. So it's not a decline, but it's not an acceptance. So what do you do when that happens? Well, there's a few things. First of all, I guess first and foremost, if the college specifically states, do not send us anything else, then do not send them anything else. That's really, really important. So make sure you read everything that they send to you as it relates to that deferral. But if they allow you to send additional items, let's talk about some of those things that you could send. Well, you could send your mid-year grades or your first quarter grades um, that support your application. They might even be better uh, than the grades that you've sent previously. So that would be something positive to send to the school. Is the college, I think you first, you also need to ask yourself, is this college still a top choice for you? If it's not, then maybe you don't want to put in the effort to gather information to send to the college. But if it still is, then go down this path. So uh, midterm grades are, first quarter midterm grades are something that you can absolutely send send, you can write an email to the, uh, to the admissions office noting uh, your reasons, again, restating your reasons for why this school is a top choice for you. Um, you might wanna update any achievements that happened since you submitted your application so they can put that with your file. It could be that you would want an additional letter of recommendation from a teacher that you missed that first time. So maybe send an additional letter of recommendation. If you haven't visited the school yet, which is entirely a possibility, and if you can, visit the school. That's always helpful for two reasons. First of all, it shows demonstrated interest to the school, but it also helps you evaluate the school even better. And also, don't negate or put to the side the other colleges that you've applied to for regular decision. Make sure you continue to follow through with those applications. Liz Levine with Signature College Counseling, making your college admissions journey easier to navigate.